Hello, and in this part of our Linux series, we're going to be talking about a subset of what we talked about last time, which was distribution. You might remember in the first video, when I was doing some definitions, I talked really briefly about window managers. Like in Windows, you'd have Windows Explorer as your window manager, and in Mac OS X, you typically have the Finder as your window manager. Well, in Linux, inside distributions, you can have different window managers. So today, we're just going to talk about that briefly and um, some of the more common ones and what you need to understand. So, you have your Linux kernel. You then have whatever whatever distribution you've chosen. But then, on top of that, you have your window manager. And it's... Um, its versioning and how that plays into the operating system. So when you download a Linux distro, you often download it with a window manager. For for, for example, the default Ubuntu uh, comes with KDE, but you can uh, comes with GNOME, but you can also get a version of Kubuntu with KDE. You can, you can get X Ubuntu with kind of a more education education style interface so as you can uh, see Linux is already becoming a minefield so I'm going to go over some different window managers what they offer and how that should play into how you select your Linux distribution of choice so let's get started first um, GNOME is in its, its latest version of um, this window manager and a lot of a lot of Linux distributions that you care to download uh, uh, ship with GNOME it's had m the most chance to mature and again be uh, because it comes in things like Ubuntu it's got the, it's got the most play it comes in a very taskbar centric um, management interface you got bar across the top with your applications, system settings and it's very um it's very application category centered and helps you keep your your things organized. Um KDE on the other hand is a much more window centric um interface. You have You often have a start menu with your currently open applications, which is very window centric. Again, I'll, I'll be sure to show show you all this in that episode of the series when I when when I show you the window manager of the particular distribution I'm going to be using, which is called Mint Linux. Um, that runs KDE, but I might also show you uh, open. That runs no, but I might also show you OpenSUSE, which runs KG. There's also another window manager called XFCE, and that's a very simple lightweight window manager. That's great for um, lower spec systems. It is very simple, subtle, and there's not much to it, but that makes it good for less um less capable system. I must also note for out all this that um your know, window manager is gonna impact what settings you have. It might be surprising to know that if you have a distro with different window managers, your your settings that you can configure it's supposed completely independent of the window manager um, are altered by the, the window manager so nothing's independent everything plays into the window manager before I end this video I should also know that you can change um, window managers I'm not I'm not going to be showing you that too much since outside of uh, outside of what distros ship with and what 
default is I don't really know how to do that um, but you can because it's an open source operating system which means you can alter the code so if you're a programming ninja in that case you're probably not watching this video but just that I'm clear it is possible to change window manager from within a distro um, with that said I've I've finished my spiel on window managers. There are also some times called session managers. So hopefully you're now beginning to see just how complicated the Linux world can get. Because again, you've got your Linux kernel with, with its versioning. The current version is 2.6. You've got your distro, um, which is your main kind of user interface layer of the operating system. But then um. Then, on top of that, you've got your desktop environment and all its version. This is very complicated, but in the next video, in the Linux series, the next video that you see after this one, we're going to get into some real stuff that you can actually see. I'm going to show you how to install it at Linux Distro. So, be sure to stay tuned for that, and I'll see you on the screen in that video screencast. So thanks for watching this video. Keep your eyes peeled for the next video and if you want to do that you can subscribe uh, uh, if you've liked it or also go to my channel and find more content. Uh, hopefully uh, you'll like it. Uh, and yeah guys I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.